In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 16 through to 21. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, and they may, and may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, Anoint your head and wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father, who is in the secret place. And your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you openly. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, where thieves break in and steal but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful followers of yours. Today is Ash Wednesday. It is the beginning of Great Lent. The time of prayer and fasting. Yes. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. A very special time within the church. It is a time to reflect on us. It is a time to reflect how we have been as a Christian. Have we been faithful to Christ and his teachings? Yes. The reading today from St. Matthew talks about how we should fast. We are not to make ourselves disfigured, our faces. Yes, showing that we are fasting. Because Jesus said, if you do this, you have received your reward because people will say, Oh, look, he is fasting. Look at him. Look at her. No. No, we need to put on what you call a brave face. We are not fasting to the world. Yes. And then in the second part of this reading, Subheading says, trusting in God wholly. Talks about treasures. We are not to build up treasures here on earth. No. Why? Because moth and rust destroy. Where thieves break in and steal. Yes. But we are to lay up treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in. Now this next verse is the key. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Our treasure must be in heaven. Because that's where we will focus in. If we have treasures here on earth, we focus here on earth. But that's not what we should be doing. 
as followers of Christ and his teachings. All our good works, yes, our reward will be in heaven. Focus in on heaven. Focus in on our on our lives that are we carrying out the commandments of Christ and love. Do not get bound up with rules and regulations about fasting is an important message to you. Yes. You say, oh, I've broken the fast. That's okay. You start again. You know. Just remember what the Pharisees were doing. Yes. How dare Christ heals on the Sabbath. And they even had to go at the people who came to Christ for healing. When he was in the synagogue, if you recall those occasions. You have six days to do it, but not on the Sabbath. Don't get bound up. Try, that's all you expect, or we expect you to do. It's all God wants you to do, is to try. Try to fast. Try to pray. Many distractions in the world will be obstacles to you. Don't let it get you down. By letting it get you down, you are then stopped. Call on Christ to help you. He went 40 days in the wilderness before he started his ministry. Yes. Now we are going through our 40 days. Yes. Pray. Pray and fast calling on the Holy Spirit to help you, to remind you of what you should be doing. Glory to you, O God, and may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.